Hey, it's this thing called Chai, guys, doing it, it's me, Johnny Sports, and welcome back to the new episode of the new castle career mode. How are you guys doing, man? Welcome. I uh, am happy to see you today in the, in the episode because today we have the FA Cup semi-final against Manchester City and the Champions League semi-final against Barcelona with only a few days in between Man City I was thinking about putting together our reserves team and the first team but then I just decided you know what no we're gonna give the reserves team or the youngster team I should say a chance to play against Man City fully everyone that is in the reserves team or was there all this time is going to get their chance to play against them it's going to be a tough one it really is going to be a hard episode today with only a few days in between both games here is that reserves team that we were talking about obviously Shira is going to be up top right there but that is the team that is fully fit going into the game against man city and also is going to be playing instead of mugasu so that uh, mugasu can play against barcelona but man I don't know what to expect from this game. This team has been showing exceptional form at times. And hopefully we can carry on like that today as well with Shira and Caminante up front with Pereira behind them and lots of great players in this team overall. So if you want me to win any of these games, please make sure to hit that like button for me today and see if we can get to 2000 likes as we try and beat Manchester City and Barcelona in semi-final matches. Oh my God, this is gonna be crazy. Let's take a look into the fan objectives. Who ate all the pies on 32 out of 40? He needs eight more goal contributions to get it done this season. A legend never dies. The assists we're still chasing down. Antoine Griezmann still ahead of us. Build the wall is actually doing quite all right. Third best defense in the league, especially after we have smashed Liverpool the way that we have. We have ruined their defensive record by keeping ours decently low. So, uh, hopefully today is going to be yet another great episode by the way there was a comment coming in from philopater aziz and he says used to not try cielo and when you used him he was really good so do you think the same thing will happen with everett and vergara if you give them the chance so yeah i think Verga uh, i think everett is a beast i really do think he's an absolute monster four star four star great pace for a cdm uh he just looks great but sadly he's very low rated so we have an issue with him now the reason why shira and cielo caminante are so amazing is because they have 99 pace coming out of the youth academy so it makes it way easier to have incredible performances with, th with those guys i think vergara is currently out on loan if i'm not mistaken let's go right in there and let's take a look at it so african english is out on loan he has grown by plus five this season which is amazing to see uh, and then we will have Vergara here as well, who is out on loan with a plus two so far only, which is a bit of a disappointment, but hopefully he can get to a plus three at least by the end of the season. So uh, we then also have Segura with a plus five again, 17 year old. This guy actually has like some of the most potential out of any player that we have in our team. So uh, it's nice to see him grow along very nicely, but the chances of them getting any play time in this season is uh, slim to none. As we go into this game, you guys might remember that Manchester City was the team that kicked us out of the Carabao Cup final. So there's a lot at stake right now as we go into this FA Cup semi-final. I desperately want to beat them, but the fact that we're playing with the reserves team against them doesn't give me much hope because the last time we played against this squad, we actually played with the full first team, I remember, and we couldn't do it. So can Shira and Cielo coming on to do it? I don't know. Let's see how it goes. Wish me luck. By the way, the reason that I'm sitting down is uh, yesterday's training session was a bit too much and I am sore absolutely everywhere. If you guys are going to the gym, talk to me about this. This is something that I've done yesterday in the gym. Um, I went for a shock session, which is basically where you don't do your normal routine. You just go out and do exercises that you never really do and do different weights and reps and you score bangers. Seventh minute, Mateus Pereira, run to the camera, son, run to the fans. He jumps over the fences and celebrates with the fans in front of him. I'm surprised that no one is actually trying to get to him, but that is incredible, guys. We have pulled it off against Man City in the seventh minute. We have shocked the team. 
that should easily be beating our squad. Let's see how this game goes. I cannot believe I've just pulled that off. Mateus Pereira, you're something special, man. If we didn't have any Spardi, you definitely would be first team material. But you are being blocked out by the legend, the icon himself. I feel bad for you. But hey, man, you're doing a great job for the reserves team. I love to see that. Uh, going back to the whole thing that I was talking about. So I did like a shock session in the gym where I did different weights, different exercises, different amounts of reputations of how many oh, oh, reps, I should say. Um, uh, how many times I did uh, the workouts and all that stuff. So it was it was weird, but it felt great while I was doing it. And it, I felt like I felt the pain in my muscles. And today I'm feeling it big time and I'm loving it. Hold on. Hold on. Did you just see that? Did you see what just happened? If anyone remembers this, let me know in the comments down below who did this once and where I was absolutely shocked that it happened. Okay. Here we go. Look at this. Look at this. You see that pass? You see that pass? Who has done this pass once in one of our career modes this year? That would have been the best assist we have had in FIFA 20. Let me know in the comments down below. It was an absolute icon doing that the last time around. So let me know if you guys can figure out who it was. Oh, by the way, on a serious note, um, if you guys have seen what happened in Beirut uh, yesterday, it was horrific like it looked like a scene out of a movie or a video game i couldn't believe it the amount of times i've seen it um if you guys are from there i hope you and your family are safe i hope no one that you know and love has been injured and for all those that have passed away rest in peace it, it was man i could not believe my eyes so hopefully you guys have been safe if you have if you do live around the area uh, I hope you guys are all right, man. That was, that looked horrific. I got scared watching that footage. So let's talk about a few rumors. Liverpool is about to make a transfer, apparently. An extremely reliable source in Melissa Reddy, uh, someone that is very close to Liverpool. Um, she has said that Liverpool are going in for the transfer of Jamal Lewis from Norwich. Oh, Camacho. Oh, good save. Jamal Lewis, the left back from Norwich City, as a backup for Andrew Robertson. Klopp has realized that Neko Williams probably won't work out as well as a left back. Uh, despite me absolutely loving Neko Williams, uh, it's not looking like that's going to be an option for us. Um, it is looking like we're going to go for Jamal Lewis. And looking at Jamal Lewis, he has had 28 appearances in the Premier League as a 22-year-old last season. So he has gained lots of experience, but... I do believe under someone like Klopp, he could genuinely become a great, great left back. So I'm really looking forward to see what will happen right there as Shearer runs across and tries to lob Ederson. That was, that was silly. You got to be more composed in a position like that. So let me know what you guys think about it. Jamal Lewis to Liverpool for only 10 million. An English left back from the Premier League or a team that is going down from the Premier League. Let me know. I find that to be great business. Hopefully he's happy with being the backup in a team that will potentially go for more and more titles in the next season. So if I was him, I would definitely say yes. I'm not playing championship. I'm playing Champions League football. That's what I'm doing. Kevin De Bruyne, the man on the free kick. Will he take it straight away? Of course he will. Vlaho Dimos forced to make a great save there. Good shot from Kevin De Bruyne. Also, what did you guys think about the FIFA 21 gameplay reveal? I'm not going to make a video about that one. I'm looking forward to the August 13th. On August 13th, EA will release a specific trailer, I assume, for career mode, which I am extremely excited for. Apparently, EA have invested more than they ever have into career mode for the first time in years and years. EA have done it. So I am extremely excited about it. Next year, we got to go all out as Mateusz Pereira misses a sitter one-on-one -on -one against Ederson. That is not good enough, mate. That is just not good enough. We're going to go for the straight corner into the goal. Look at that. It nearly went in. It nearly went in. Ederson got fooled. Another interesting topic to talk about. Emmanuel Avolala says, Johnny, how do you feel about the new Unreal Engine being used in PES 2022? So yes, Pro Evolution Soccer is going to be using the Unreal Engine for their game in 2022. 
If you guys haven't seen what the Unreal Engine is capable of, trust me, PES 2022 is going to be a massive step forward for Pro Evolution Soccer because they are dropping off basically an entire year of making a new game. So PES 2021, as you guys know, is only like a squad update Oof. or a season update or however they want to call it. So it's not really a full game. It's just an update for the users that already have PES 2020, I guess. Oh, Cielo, 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 Cielo is on the run. Cielo is on the run. He's going to cut back inside. Cielo, near post. Cielo coming on there. Luke, I am your father. Yes, come on, mate. He has done it. If you guys don't know, his name translated is Luke Skywalker. Lucas Cielo. Me, Nante, this guy. Wow. I cannot believe that I've only just started using him this season. I am a joke of a manager, but hey, man, that is amazing to see. Cielo Caminante has pulled it off. It is 2 0 against Manchester City with the reserves team. The main team couldn't do this, and the reserves are pulling it off. I cannot believe this, but I have to say, City's playing different. They're not playing those quick passes. They're taking their time on the ball. I don't know what's going on with City, but they don't feel comfortable in this game. So yeah, going back to the whole thing with the Unreal Engine, PES 2022 is going to be a huge leap forward for ProLution Soccer in my eyes because they will have enough time to figure out new graphics and everything and new mechanics for their game, which might be a huge leap closer to FIFA because FIFA is on a yearly cycle still, and I do expect them to not bring in too much in terms of graphical stuff or animation type of stuff or gameplay stuff when it comes to FIFA 2021, uh, of FIFA 21, I should just say. Um, but when it comes to 22, they need to do big leaps forward because then it will be the first release uh, for a full year of the new console. So I'm expecting big things moving forward. Let's see what happens. And let's see if we can hold on to this lead. Good pass. Oh, no, it's not a good pass. That's great reading from the midfield of Man City. Jaden Sancho getting past me a little bit too easily. Taliso making the tackle. Oh, look at that. Chira is through. Chira is through. Hey, John Stones, you can try as much as you want to, mate. As much as you want to. But you will not stop the Newcastle Revenge. We have done it. We have done it. Newcastle taking their revenge for the Carabao Cup final. And now we are one step closer to a trophy this season, a domestic trophy for Newcastle United. It would be the first trophy in this in our career, I believe, as a Newcastle coach. I do not believe we have won the Carabao Cup or the FA Cup at any point every single season so far. We have struggled to get things done. But right now, Newcastle is set up in a way where the reserves team can do bits due to two attackers who are just incredible and a center attacking midfielder who has joined this season who has proven his worth straight away i see that run camacho i see it i see it i see it camacho I you're off you're off you're off man bye bye i'm gonna play everett the cdm as a right mid because you're trash and i'm gonna bring on long stuff get out get out of my get out of my team i can actually not believe that we have done this is my reserves team the stronger team? Oh! 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 Look at this! Oh my god! Bro! I nearly pulled it off, dude! Cielo has done it for a second time! This kid is ridiculous! He just does whatever he wants! He really, really does! Cielo! Come on! Florinel, come on! Sees along to the staff! Oh! Imagine! Imagine! I'm having fun! I'm having fun! This is nice! Now, after this, it's Barcelona, which I'm not really looking forward to too much. But, hey, man, I cannot believe that this team is pulling it off. It's it's a miracle. It really, really is a miracle. One more. One more. Cielo. Yes. I need one more. I really want one more. Pass it inside again. Cielo. There he goes. Bang it, son. Get out of the way, Shira. It is, it is Luke. Luke has done it again. I mean, lads... What do you want from me? I am just doing bits right now against the likes of Manchester City in the Carabao Cup, uh, FA Cup semi-final. Get out of my face, City. You kicked us out of the Carabao Cup. I'm kicking you out of the cup that is more worth. It is the FA Cup. 
finalists, Newcastle United. They might not get to take over in real life, but you know what? I'm taking Newcastle to new heights. And our opponent will be Leicester City in the final, who have also won their game 4-0. Interesting. We'll see what happens with that one. But as we move on, we will see Barcelona waiting on us. They are waiting. It is time for the big matchup. Messi and his friends against Barcelona, against uh, Newcastle United. Might as well call ourselves Barcelona because we have all the talent in the world. Then after that, United is coming up as well, but no league play today. We only have the big boys coming in in the Champions League football. And sadly, we have a red card on our boy down that left-hand side. So Ortega is going to jump in for Mendy. And that is going to be the team that steps up and tries to get it done against Messi. Ugh, I don't know how I feel about that. Who else is in the semi-finals? Let's see. It is Manchester City and Atletico Madrid. I forgot. Yeah, City could come up against us again and try and get revenge. I don't like it. I really don't like it. Sorry, but can we just talk about the fact that Mugasu nearly blows up the screen? Like, how much of a giant man can you be? He looks swole. I want to be like you, Mugasu. One day when I grow up, I want to be like you. Mm, I'm just reading that Nord City actually wants 20 million. Oh, no, this is bugged. This is bugged. I will have to... No, I hope it auto-saved. It's not going to put me into the game. I'm stuck here now. So, uh, boys, you better hope with me that... Oh, what a pass that was. You better hope with me that uh, we will have that Barcelona game coming up once I am back into FIFA. This is this is glitched. Alrighty, my friends. Here it goes. Uh, Barcelona against uh, Newcastle United. Let's see if this goes well. I am hoping for a good result here for our team. Obviously, let's take a look at the team of Barca. It is Jury up front, Coutinho, Messi, Arthur, De Jong, Busquets, Van Dijk, Koulibaly. Oh, oh my. Oh no. How am I supposed to win against that? Now, Jury is a talent from Monaco, I think, or some team in France, if I'm not mistaken. So props to him to make on making it into the first team. But boys, Van Dijk and Koulibaly in the defense for Barcelona. Uh, yeah, I don't know how I feel about that one, Chief. This is going to be an interesting one, to say the least. Bartha, straight away. We got it. We got it. So, Yunju, chill, chill. Now we move. It's the first team this time, which means Ennis Bardi is on the pitch, which means crazy things that are about to happen. Ennis. Oh, Van Dijk, he just pushes him off like he's a little child, man. It's too easy. Bardi. Go on then, Neres. I need your support. David Neres. Into the middle again, Depay. Memphis Depay against this Dutch national teammate. And then he tries to put it into the top right, but it is too low. Good try, though. Good try. And it's, he gets past one. He has that finesse on his left foot. He doesn't care. <sighs> it was a good attempt. Good attempt. Good start into the game. Oh, so Yunja, big steal. Cut back in. Inside. Neres. Outside of the boot. Let's try it. San Maxima. Oh, wow. Okay. The first chances belong to us. Oh, look at the passing play, man. Barca with the Tiki Taka. I miss the days of Tiki Taka at Barcelona. I really do. It used to be football that I loved to watch. Like, I just could not believe what I was seeing. Any spot, he might have gotten injured there. He looks all right. He looks all right. We need options. We need options. There we go. Ooh, no. That didn't work out as an option. Messi. Messi. Great ball through. Messi looking to get it back and our defense is doing well enough and that's the first chance of Barca. Look at that. Look at that. No. Messi inside with the skill moves. Mugasu scares him. He runs away. Mugasu don't. Don't leave him that much space. Messi with the shots. It is still nil nil. 25 minutes have passed. We're playing away so any goal that we score could be massive here against the likes of Barcelona. Barca coming through here with the young, I believe. Now it is into Longley. Or Lengle, however you pronounce his name. We got the ball finally. Partey. Whew. Man, I need to find the gaps here. There's a gap. There's a massive gap. David Neres against Arthur. How's Arthur catching up? Oh, Neres outside of the boots. 
It's a save. It's a save. Testigan is impossible to get past right now. That defense is so strong. Pulibali, Testigan, Van Dijk. I mean, what else do you want? They have brought in all the super meta defenders into their team on FIFA 20. Barca now through again a chance. And Ramsdale is forced to make yet another save. Please get it away. Get it away, Ramsdale. What are you doing, oh, man? <sighs> We're down 1-0 against Barcelona. 38 minutes have been played. And that, my friends, is the quality of having the best defenders in the world in your team. Van Dijk coming in with the header. Ramsdale with a huge mistake. Not being able to get to the ball. And that is 1-0, Barca. And that might just be... A sign of things to come. Ortega now has, has seen enough. Ortega has seen enough. Now it's Depay. Depay with a good ball. Bardi doesn't get a chance to play it. Okay, so my six foot eight Mugasu just didn't win that header against Juri, who is probably below six foot. Q. Go on then, Samaxima. You had it, mate. You had the ball. Oh no, there's too much of an opening. There's too much of an opening. Arthur makes it 2-0. Champions League semi-final might be the last spot that we get into in terms of Champions League football, guys. Barca is too strong. They're too good. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but I genuinely believe I would have done better with my reserves team. <laughs> oh, man, this is bad. I need to bring on some super subs in the second half. Some absolute super subs. We got to turn this game around. I don't know how, but we got to do it. If I can only get like one goal in to, t to bring it down to 2-1 and then I can win 1-0 at home and get through. I mean, that's quite the plan to try and follow, but it does sound like a decent idea, I guess. Anything. I will take anything right now. Bardi, good pass. Neres. Ah, what is that, Depay? Why are you doing the flare passes? Don't be stupid. Look at Barca's passing play, bro. I can't even get close. Mugasu has had enough. He has had enough. Messi, get out of my face. Mugasu. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. It's you and me, Mugasu. It's you and me. Depay, down the center. Depay. Yes! Nyasha Mugasu. That's the one that has done it. That's the one that has done it. Now, I hope he gets to see this video because yesterday uh, he came into our stream. Nyasha Mugasu, as you guys know, is one of our YouTube channel members who has been um, tier three subbed to our channel, which uh, made us name one player after him. And yesterday he came into our stream and said that he's a grandma passed away. So if you're seeing this, bro, that goal is for you. Thank you so much been an absolutely amazing mod and a big supporter of my channel on twitch and youtube for a long time i really do appreciate you my man and uh yeah uh, rest in peace to your grandmother all right 60th minute as i said the super subs will have to do a business here and we don't even have anyone i just realized that these guys are super tired oh no Pereira is gonna come in actually you know what now nah, i'm gonna keep bardi on for like any free kick coming in we're gonna bring on long staff and Godfrey as a left back because Ortega is tired. Let's see how this goes. Barca looking for one more. That's great passing once again. Barcelona down that right hand side of theirs. Koulibaly holding on to it. Looking forward now playing the pass into Semedo. Semedo with the cross far side. Ramsdale has to get to that and he does. Well done man. Well done. Ennis Bardi in the center waiting for the pass. Ennis. Here we go. Epai, beautifully done. Longstaff is making a great run here. Will he get to that? He will not. Great defensive work by Barca. Again, somehow getting out of it with great passing play. Neres. Neres. Still going. Still going. Still going. Oh, oh my God. Nearly pulled it off. Nearly pulled it off. Barca, one more attack here. Uh, my players are ice skating. My players are ice skating. I swear to God. Did you see... Did you see Partey and the movement of him? I mean, please, man. Please, stop doing that type of stuff to me, eh? That should not be happening. Oh, Barca again. All right, we've got to take our time here. We've got to take our sweet time. I wish I had Cielo, man. If I had Cielo or Shira here, I would destroy you guys in the second half. I'm telling you. Ennis Bardi, good run. Ennis, play it. Play the ball. Yes, long stuff. 
Great steal. 86th. Inside. Depay. Bardi. With some space. Ennis. Ennis the god. Bardi. Yes. <laughs> yes, lads. We've pulled it off. The comeback in the 89th minute. Barcelona have stopped attacking as much as they have in the first half. They, get, they went down a gear and that didn't work out. Van Dijk sent to the shops by any Spardi. And that, my friends, is exactly what you want to see from the GOAT himself. Yes, I'm talking about Bardi, not about Messi. He's on the pitch as well. The best player on the pitch, though, right now is Ennis Bardi. Where are you at, Messi? Where are you at, my man? Good passing. Here we go. We got Neres. Neres on the ball. Neres on the ball. Passing it inside. So Maxima. It's the post. I didn't shoot again. I didn't shoot again and I messed it up. Ennis Bardi still on it. Pass inside. Depay was waiting for it. We're now into the sixth minute of added time. We'll take it, though. Here goes Neres. Ah, oh, the referee blows the whistle. Well, guys, that was an impressive, impressive game that we just had. Extremely satisfied with the outcome of this one. Our team has done wonders there to bring it back to 2-2. Barcelona, definitely the better team in this matchup. But hey, there's only one GOAT in town. And that is Enis Bardi. Well, guys, I leave you with that. Newcastle United, first in the Premier League by just one point. The amount of matches that we have coming up that are big is incredible. We have United, Barcelona, and then we have a bunch of lower-rated teams that I tend to struggle against more. Then we have Leicester City in the FA Cup final, and hopefully we can make it into the Champions League final against potentially City as well. Let's take a look at the fixtures. City hasn't played yet, so let me just move forward one day. All right, let's see how City have done. Manchester City, how did you do in your matchup? Did you get the win? City have won 2-0, so I'm expecting it to be an absolute battle between us and City for the Premier League title and also for the Champions League title if we do somehow make it past Barcelona and their insane squad. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you again on the next episode. Lots of fun to be had. We're getting close to the season finale. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Take care. And player of the episode is Bardi. Peace out.